Welcome to Lost Episode. Mr. Oscar and Lenny are now enjoying dinner in the Oscars restaurant. A live band is playing evening jazz in the background. Mr. Oscar, a friend of mine has asked me for a favor. He has invited a girl out for dinner. He has never gone on a date before. He has no idea what he should say or how he should behave. But he has heard about you. He knows you are a very wise man. So he has urged me to grab this chance to consult you. Consult, FERP, to seek information or advice from someone, especially a professional or expert in the relevant area. Example, if you are unsure about your legal liability and sponsoring the industrial actions, you should consult your lawyer. Well, my dear Lenny, I appreciate your friend a great deal. Your friend is very ambitious. Your friend really wants this girl to have a good time. In fact, he sounds a lot like someone I know. He reminds me of you. I'm not saying he is you. He just reminds me of you. <coughs> First, let's start with the basics. First, you, oh, oh, I mean your friend, should make a reservation at a decent restaurant in the proper manner. I'm all ears. Be all ears. Idiom. Being ready to hear about a message or advice in an eager and attentive manner. Example. Everyone in the stadium was all ears when the judge announced the result of the boxing match. Bonus time! You can obtain a note from the link appended below this video, which highlights the learning points of this lesson. So the more you watch our videos, the higher your English proficiency shall be. Okay, I have a suggestion. Why don't we act out the whole scenario? You be the restaurateur, and I'll be the customer who makes a dinner reservation. By all means. By all means, idiom. Showing willingness to grant permission to someone's request in a certain or absolute tone. Example, can Peter come and play with me, Mom? Yes, by all means. Let's start. Good evening. This is the Oscars restaurant. May I help you? Good evening. I'd like to book a table for two for this Saturday evening at 6 p.m., please. One moment, please, sir. Let me check the bookings. 2,000 years later. Sir, I'm afraid that there's no table available at the intended time. Would you mind changing it to 7 p.m.? That's fine with me. Certainly, sir. I would like to have a table in the VIP section overseeing the Adams Garden. Absolutely, sir. Could I have your name and phone number? John Smith. 1234 Five six seven eight. Could you repeat the number, please? I didn't catch it the first time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect, Mr. Smith. Your booking is confirmed. Looking forward to serving you and your company this Saturday. Mayor Oscar, an urgent call for you. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Now, you see this red button up here? Do not push the red button. Do not push it. Do not... Too late. You pushed it. Do you know what you just did? 
now you have no choice but to become fluent in the English language.